transportation. So automotive applications, okay, hopefully none of us see this, but of course rain gauge will have been used to test these crash resistance of your car. They would have been used on wheels, tires, suspension components, drive shafts, the glass, the bodywork, pretty well everything that you can think of would have been tested with strain gauges. If you are a keen cyclist, I'm a mountain biker myself, um, but uh, if you're a road cyclist, often people want to measure their power output, and there are many strain gauge systems that get integrated into pedals, the spider for measuring power output. Trucks, lorry weighing, so this could be for optimally placing your load in the truck and making sure you don't overload it, which can be a legal problem. And it could be integrated load cells like these or sensors applied to various strategic points in the vehicle. Trains, uh, the rolling stock and the rails themselves may have strain gauges on. So rails with strain gauges on can measure wheel flats on the rolling stock and also can be used to measure the train as it goes over an instrumented section of track. And then ships, very commonly measuring power output on ships' drive shafts. And then of course, the entire ship superstructure can be tested. We've tested pylons, and we used to do deck displacement measurements. So again, strain goes all over ships as well. 